Hey everybody, this is the Barton Musical Circuit's QTLFO. Uh, what we've got here is we've got four different outputs. Each of these is outputting a trapezoid LFO waveform, and the outputs are synchronized with each other. Uh, each of these controls does the same thing, but it's going to affect the uh, it's going to affect each output in a different way. So looking at just output number one here, this is going to be the rise time. Uh, the slower you set it, the longer it takes for it to rise up. This is going to be the hold at high time. The longer you set it, it'll be the longer it holds uh, its high voltage after it's risen. And then this is going to be its fall time, uh, how long it takes to go back down to the bottom. And then this is going to be the hold time on the low voltage. And it's just going to work like that in a circle. Uh, and then each output is one step away from that. So. This is the uh, rise time for output 2, rise time for output 3, rise time for output 4. And so this would be the negative voltage hold down uh, hold time for uh, output 2. This is the negative hold time for 3, and so on and so forth. So you have these four outputs that are always uh, synchronized with each other. And uh, yeah, so let me set these to a little bit slower, and I'm going to show you a patch. Uh, you can also hear an MP3 of this patch that should be down below in the information. Uh, this is a really simple, easy to build module uh, that does something that I think is unique. I haven't seen this design done somewhere else before. Um, I've seen quadrature oscillators before and LFOs before, but this uh, thing with the different parts of the... where it's almost uh, like an ADR also that you have controls over the different bits of the shape. Uh, I thought that was a novel idea. Uh, so, oh, uh, anyways, this patch that I'm showing you, uh, outputs uh, two and four are going into my quantizer and I'm uh, attenuating them to different degrees and then they're quantizing to different scales, so it's gonna have slightly different sounds to it. And then their outputs are going to some VCOs, which are down below. And then outputs one and three are controlling the cutoff of a couple of filters. Let me see if I can show you one of the filters. Yeah, this is my uh, Moog clone type filter that I have in my system. And so uh, the one of the outputs is gonna be filtered down to a really low frequency uh, while the other one is uh, more audible and the more audible one is gonna be descending in tone as the other one is rising and you can't quite hear it. Uh, so let me just turn this up. Ooh. 